came to Humber Hospital on December the 28th was due to a wrist fracture. So my first engagement with the hospital was in the emergency room. There was no worry about whether I was being taken care of or not. You just really, everything was so um, organized that my daughter and I sat down and within about, I would say, 45 minutes or so, we were shuffled into a room and waiting for the emergency room doctor. So at that point, um, I met with Dr. D'Souza, um, who was fantastic and put me very much at ease because, you know, I have this sort of limp wrist thing going on. It's all swollen. I don't really know what's happening. I hadn't slept all night. And, um, you know, I certainly was not, you know, at my best. And from there, after about 20 minutes or so, it seemed really quick, um, we, we were taken into another room and that's where I met the wonderful Samuel. And, you know, not only does he show so much professionalism and efficiency, um, but I remember I, I was, you know, not thinking clearly and I was asking him a lot of questions and I'll never forget that he said to me, you know what? Your job is to just lie back and relax and I'm going to take care of everything else. And that is exactly what he did and that did work. And um, I ended up, yeah, being really relaxed and being really well taken care of by a fantastic nurse. I was supposed to come back after a week. I was casted then in that lovely big thick plaster cast. and. Um, so we got home on the Sunday from, the, from Emerge and on Monday morning I got a call asking me to come in on Tuesday. So I thought, oh, this is awesome. We're going to go in a week early. They're going to put that nice thin cast on and, you know, it's Christmas holidays. My daughter and I are going to go away. So it's perfect. And um, so, you know, in we go um, to the fracture clinic and we are met by um, Dr. Townley and um, I am... 110% positive he is going to remember me. Um, it was certainly not my finest moment, and I, I'm not going to lie about that. You know, the cast came off, my arm swollen, I hadn't slept in a couple of nights, you know, I was just not doing well. And, you know, crying, that's because I was going to get a needle. And um, anyway, I think what I'd have to say is, you know, Dr. Townley, thank you so much. When I did have the reduction and when I did come back I did say to Sandros and Sandros thank you for this uh, that I was really really embarrassed um, to return and I was really hoping none of them would actually be there, be there that day but of course they were and um, Sandros said you know what um, don't even worry about it. Don't even give it a second thought. Like, we know people are in shock. It's okay. And uh, I'm not sure if he realized how much that did for me because just kind of having my dignity around that and um, even, you know, Carol, Mary, Joanne, you were all there with the stuff going on. So um, all of you were incredibly supportive and when I came back I really didn't feel judged right I was doing that enough on my own quite frankly the one thing that I have to say that I really really notice at the hospital is the camaraderie between staff and somehow I, I don't know it, it's kind of comforting um, and also the fact that you care. I mean, it really comes across. You can really, really feel it. So uh, all my, my new friends in the Fracture Clinic, thank you so very much for doing the job that you do. It cannot be easy. Um, Andy as well, I want to give a, a, a shout out to you too. And I am so thrilled to be here today to thank you all personally from the bottom of my heart for taking such good care of me and doing the incredible work that you do each and every day with a smile on your face and a lot of kindness and generosity. I think you're all absolutely amazing.